So after steeping the grains, the next step is to add your dry malt extract. This is going to be the main ingredient on your vert. And one thing to keep in mind is um, your malt is kind of like a powder. And when you throw it into the water, it's going to clump up and it turns into almost like a hard candy. So you may even have um, the, the tub covered uh, kind of floating around and, and that's okay. Um, once you bring this uh, back to a boil, that all those clumps will soften up and you'll be able to mix it all together. So what you're gonna be doing from here on out is cooking the main ingredient and one thing you gotta be careful with is not cooking it too hard um, you don't want to caramelize or scorch the malt since that can make it almost unfermentable so you add the malt and you gotta bring it back into a boil as soon as you bring it to a boil as soon as the first bubble breaks the surface you're gonna be adding your finishing or your bittering hops Bringing this to a boil now that you added some ingredients to it will take a while. So usually what I do is I add the malt, I bring it up, and I stir it every once in a while. Um, and in the meantime, I like to prepare my hops. Depending on your recipe, um, you know you may be adding different uh, quantities of hops and at different times. Um, for this specific recipe, I just used an ounce of water pellet hops, and I just divided that in half. Um, one half I used for my bittering hops, the other half I used for my finishing hops. The bittering hops, I add those as soon as the first bubble breaks the surface um, when, when the malt starts to boil. And the hops is what brings it the really good smell. If you've never smelled them, <laughs> they smell really, really good. But once you add the first set of hops, you want to bring it to a slow boil. And a slow boil is basically just, just enough activity to, to keep this um, cooking. And again, you don't want to overcook this. You don't want to caramelize it. It will become unfermentable. Depending on your recipe, you know, the time that you do this for will vary. I did this for about 50 minutes, at which point I added my finishing hops. And in addition to the finishing hops, um, I added what's called Irish moss, which is it's basically seaweed it works as a clarifying agent um, it adds a negative ion into the mixture so it mixes with the uh, proteins which have a positive ion um, together they attract each other and become heavy enough to drop out of suspension during the fermentation once you add these um, your finishing hops and the Irish moss uh, again depending on your recipe this may vary but I left it boiling for another five minutes at which point you want to cool down the wort and prepare to pitch the yeast. So the way I like to do it is I take my vert and I splash it into a bucket. Now the reason for this is I want to make sure that it gets oxygenated right before I pitch the yeast and this is going to help the yeast um, you know, ferment better. And when I splash it into the bucket um, one of the ways that I cool down my vert is I use ice instead of water when I splash it down and this tends to bring down the temperature um, quite a bit. Now you don't want to use too much ice. Um, then you are going to basically top off the bucket. Um, you're going to lose about a quarter of a gallon uh, while you cook it so you're going to need about three gallons and a quarter. And I use cold water so that helps it and by, by that time my uh, my mixture is pretty much at the temperature. What you want to do at that point is just shake up the mixture. Um, you don't need to pick up the bucket. Um, you can just shake it on the floor. And you're going to be taking a sample. This is going to be a sample that you're going to be using to take your first hydrometer reading. About half a cup should be uh, more than sufficient. And again, the uh, cups that you use, um, you should use, first of all, you should be using a glass. Um, Pyrex uh, measuring cup and it should be coming straight from the sanitize um, from the I4 into the mixture and then we're gonna be getting ready to pitch the yeast so we'll cover that in the next video